All right, for some, it's harder to escape this heat, including those that work in it. Farmers navigate extreme weather every day to keep food supplies in check for the rest of us. So we wanted to talk with some of those farmers directly to see how they're fighting this heat wave. KSHB 41 reporter Grant Stevens went to Atchison County to show how they're working with Mother Nature. When it comes to trying to cool down, you got to get into that creek or something if you want to cool down. <laughs> Photographer Brian Luton and I were considering that after visiting Vicki Minhouse in Atchison and Jay Armstrong on his farm west of town. It's just a difficult time for farmers to work. The heat is brutal on man, machine, cattle and crop. The sweat in your eyes just gets to where you can't hardly see. I can confirm that today, but no matter how brutal Mother Nature can be, she waits for no one. We're preparing for harvest and uh, you know that means all the equipment that you need to harvest needs to be gone through and gone over and prepared. In this weather, machines overheat. They need extra maintenance. And guess who gets to do it? It's just hard to keep motivated, but you have to push yourself uh, to keep working. When I think of them out there, well, I have to praise them a lot for putting up with it all and that. Today's humid heat is bad for farmers and livestock, but the crops are okay. It's the dry heat Armstrong's worried about. As long as those are attached, that bean size has a chance to grow. Now, when we get this hot weather, that dries up, and then that bean separates from inside that bean pod. That means a smaller bean, a worse yield. Then it's, it's very, very worrisome. Recent rains and more recent humidity has saved this crop, but Armstrong and the rest of farmers in Kansas and Missouri won't complain about a little more. A one inch rain between now and two weeks and you know, we'll all be smiling as farmers. <laughs> but uh, you, you tell your weatherman I need some rain because that's what, <laughs> we'll see what we can do. In Atchison County, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.